In this video, we will discuss about class action suits. Before getting on to the video, if you have still not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, please press the like button and then share it to your friends. Class action suits are of recent origin in India, but it is very popular in the Western world, whether it is UK, US, European countries. In all these places, you know, basically class action suits are very popular. And then after the implementation of Companies Act 2013 in India, we have also adopted class action suits and we have recognized the class action suit so that the shareholders as well as depositors of a company now they are eligible to file a class action suit. Leaving the procedures apart, let us try to understand the basic terminology of class action that is most important. So what is a class action? In simple terms if I have to explain, class action means a large group of people having similar injuries that is most important a large group of people having similar injuries caused by the same person that is also important condition collectively bring a claim to the court so i repeat a large group of people having similar injuries caused by same person collectively bring a claim to the court this is the concept of class action suit Take for example, in majority of the cases, like even like Bhopal gas leakage tragedy for that matter, if I have to give you an example, where there is big group of people that is the residents in the city of the Bhopal got affected due to that oleum gas leakage. Those people are affected health wise as well as you know, the environment also got basically like polluted because of the oleum gas leakage. All these people collectively came together and filed a suit before court of law against the same person that is Union Carbide. Please note here only one objective, all of us are affected because of the oleum gas leakage which has come up. Now we need some sort of a compensation, you know, basically for the injuries what we have suffered. The same way it, will, it can happen even in case of companies also. The shareholders as well as the deposit holders who have trusted the company and then they have invested in the company, whether it might be individual shareholders or it might be institutional shareholders, mutual funds it might be, and they would have subscribed to the deposits or whatever the situation, but they might have been associated with the company, keeping in mind that the promoters of the company, the board of directors of the company manage their funds in a very effective and efficient way. But there are some situations where the board of directors as well as the promoters of the company will not manage the affairs of the company in a proper way. They might manage the affairs in such a way it will be prejudicial to the public interest or it will be prejudicial to the interest of the members as well as the deposit holders. If this kind of situation comes up, what is the remedy available? Please note here only one shareholder or one depositor will not get, get affected because of this kind of, uh, you know, the management is being conducted by the company. The entire base of shareholders, the entire base of deposit depositors may get affected because of this kind of situations the company would have ended up with. So now the Companies Act 2013 under section 245 recognizes that the aggrieved shareholders as well as the depositors can prefer a petition before the National Company Law Tribunal. Please note, in India, clash action suits are not limited only to the Companies Act 2013 provisions. Even the employees under various labor legislations, they can prefer a class action suit against the management of the company. Say the bonus is not paid, the gratuity is not settled, the company is not making the payment of minimum wages and there are so many instances of proper facilities are not being provided, the timelines are not being sticked into, minimum wages are not being paid, they are not sticking on to the timelines which is being prescribed relating to making the payment of wages. Like that there are so many labor laws related situations or the issues may come up where employees can collectively bargain with the management as well as they can raise the class action suits against the company under various labor legislations in India. Secondly, consumers also, please note you have consumer forum, the Consumer Protection Act of 1986 where the group of consumers who are affected by the services rendered by your organization or the group of uh, consumers who had purchased your product which happens to be defective or there is deficiency in service, they can form an association and then they can file a collective suit against the company. 
you being the company secretary, you have to necessarily manage this situation. So company secretaries have to manage the situations where there are class action suits which is being initiated against the company because this will be filed in the National Company Law Tribunal and you will be the person will be representing on behalf of the company. Please note which are the important situations where the class action suits may come up. There are some situations where there are mismanagement of the affairs of the company, there is fraud happening, the affairs of the management is conducted in a negligent way, there is breach of trust, breach of duty, these are all the circumstances where the shareholders get aggrieved about the management of the affairs of the company. When this kind of situation comes up, under section 245, there are two criterias, whether it is the group of shareholders or it is the group of depositors. Two criterias, 5% of the number of shareholders or 5% of the number of depositors or 100 members, whatever the case may be, they can file a petition before National Company Law Tribunal. Or 5% of the number of members who represent 5% of the capital or represent 5% of the total deposits, they can also file a combined petition. And once the petition is filed, the notice can be given and then so that all other people, you know, whoever is interested to join them, they can come forward and join so that collectively they can bargain and then seek the remedy. That is the whole objective of the concept of class action under section 245 and 246 of Companies Act 2013. Now it is completely recognized. So in this particular chapter, we have to discuss more about class action suits, both substantive provisions of law as well as the procedures associated with it. If you want to learn more about this particular course, please fill up the Google form which is being provided in the description box below. If you have any questions associated to this particular video, please comment. If you want to know more about the courses offered by Excel Academy, please visit our website www.excelacademy.com. Thank you.